Good morning and thanks for joining us for KBY 2 News Midday. I'm Rick Douglas, now to your top 11 stories at 11. Idaho State Police confirm at least one person has died in a rollover crash on Highway 45 south of Melba. A state trooper told KBOI the driver was dead when they arrived on scene this morning and two passengers were badly injured. There's no word yet on how fast the driver was going. I mean, basically the driver drifted off the road on the right shoulder, uh, overcorrected, came back on the road and then uh, went off onto the southbound shoulder and uh, rolled the vehicle. Culliner says the deceased driver and the two injured passengers were not wearing seat belts. A third passenger who was wearing a seat belt was able to walk away uninjured. No word yet what might have caused that rollover. Just a few protesters were outside his clinic this morning when Minnesota dentist and lion hunter Walter Palmer returned to work. A staffer grabbed his arm and quickly ushered him inside the office. Palmer, as you might remember, killed the beloved lion Cecil in Zimbabwe back in July. He says he did nothing illegal and Zimbabwe has not yet sought his extradition. Two of his African guides, though, were prosecuted. A Boise County man, Rob Carrico, and his wife, Gina May, have been arrested in Boise County for operating what the sheriff there calls a sophisticated pot growing operation. The sheriff's office confiscated more than $172,000 worth of marijuana plants. Boise County deputies say they found growing tents and an elaborate watering system that they figure had been in place for years. With Congress having done little, President Obama is using his executive powers to grant paid sick leave for employees of federal contractors. The executive order is expected to affect low-wage workers the most. At yesterday's Labor Day picnic in Boise, we found lots of support for the idea. My biggest issue with it is, is when people are sick, they come to work, they get other people sick. Um, it'd be nice if they stay home, but a lot of people, they just can't afford to stay home. Some critics say to offset the paid sick time, companies will be forced to slash salaries. And leaders of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce are threatening to sue, saying that the president has overstepped his authority. In fire season news, the Teepee Springs fire near Riggins has now been burning for close to a month. This morning, it's up to nearly 95,000 acres and 65 percent contained. Fire officials say it grew by 48 acres yesterday after rain and snow slowed its growth over the weekend. The lower Salmon River is back open for rafters. And the rapid fire southeast of McCall is now 50% contained. Fire managers say it scorched more than 9,000 acres, but the fire did not grow over the weekend. In fact, some firefighters are leaving the front lines to head to other higher priority fires. Work has resumed at the Broadway Avenue interchange after crews took a break over the Labor Day weekend. Be prepared for the traffic signals to be turned off from 9 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon, both today and tomorrow. Flaggers will direct traffic. Expect loose gravel as well because workers there are applying a seal coat. Congress returns from summer recess today. Members of Congress went on break in August, but they left with two major fights unsettled. One is the controversial Iran nuclear deal. Lawmakers will either approve or disapprove the agreement, and there is stiff opposition from Republicans. And a few Democratic senators are also opposed as well. A Boise State professor is celebrating after Italy's high court officially closes the case against Amanda Knox due to lack of sufficient evidence. Greg Hampikian is the director of the Idaho Innocence Project. He says his team found too little of her DNA to tie Knox to the murder of her roommate. Police theory was the knife was used in the murder. Well, the, the knife didn't fit all of the wounds in the body. That was the first problem. The second thing is the knife had no trace of blood on it whatsoever. Well, even after six years of working on the Amanda Knox case, Hampikian says he will continue working on new cases to free others who've been wrongfully convicted. It was touch and go, but a four-year-old boy and his dog have been rescued after falling into a well in Mississippi. The well was nearly 25 feet deep. The boy's dog had fallen down the well first and might have been down there for as much as a week. Emergency crews believe the boy heard the dog and went to look. The boy's been taken to a hospital as a precaution. Well, Coca-Cola could see a jolt in sales with the return of Surge Soda. The citrus-flavored drink was popular back in the 90s, but Coke phased it out a decade ago. Fans went crazy when Coke began selling the drink again through Amazon last year. Surge enthusiasts bought out the online supply on the very first day, despite a $14 price tag for a 12-pack of 16-ounce cans. A Surge website shows the drink for sale in the Midwest, the South, the Upper Great Plains, and even in some eastern states.